Hey, Urban 420 Cards here. Just got back one day early. Christmas came. I was supposed to be getting this tomorrow. And I got it today. A lot of cool, interesting stuff. I sent this on the vintage special. Uh, first, I had got these cards off the internet thinking they were 1977 New York Cosmos cards. So I reached out to them. They couldn't find the info, but these are from 2015. So thankfully I didn't get charged for that. And... Uh, not in the order I sent them in, huh? Now let me take out my big three that I want to save till the end. One, two. And that's it. No. No. Uh, yeah. So these four I'm going to save to the end, and let's get started. Those are big ones that I'm surprised I didn't get upcharged for, so. Well, that was a strike. I think I need to go bowling. Okay, we're going to start off with a 1980 George Brett. Let's see what we got. Near Mint 7, not bad. Uh, 1983 Montana sticker. I'm expecting like around a six on this. Oh, and it got a seven. Not bad. Oh no, this was the one. Okay. So this Thurman Munson from 1975 and got a three. I don't know if you can see it. But you see that big crease by the S? Yeah. I sent that for a reason, just to test stuff. We got a 1987 Fleer Nolan Ryan, and we got a near mint to mint eight. <clears throat> got a Bo Jackson here from the same set, 1987 Fleer. I got like four more of those cars, but is any of them going to be nine or better? That's the question. 1983 Nolan Ryan. Of course, this was with the vintage special, so this is why you're going to see older cards. Near Mint to Mint 8. Bought this card for $2, so that's not bad. Okay, we got one of the famous errors from 1982 Flair. This is the All Hobrowski instead of Al. And his height is listed as 5'1 and not 5'10. This is like the second rarest of this error. Because there's a couple more that's corrected. And two more errors. Nimmin 7. Okay, okay. Lee Smith error from 1982 Flair with the Cubs reverse logo. Let's see what we get on this. Nimmin to Mint 8. Not bad. Now those cars, uh, the Hobrowski cost me $3 and the Lee Smith I caught for 2 Okay, we got two 1987 Joe Montanas on top, so let's see what we get. Near Men 7 and EX5. Wow. Ouch. Okay, this is a 1984 Top Tiffany Nolan Ryan team leaders with Juan Cruz, I think it is. So this is the team checklist. So they're both going to be on here. Near Mint to Mint 8. Not bad for an 84 Tiffany card that I bought for $5. This is the other Montana sticker I had. Near Mint 7 also. Oh, these are some good ones right here. 
yeah. Uh, let me do these two first. Another 87 Montana. Let's see. Oh, no, this is from 83. It's third year. You got a six. Not bad for a card I paid $4 for. Uh, Jim Kelly NFL rookie from 1987. Near Mint to Mint 8. We got a 1979 Reggie Jackson. I bought this card for like $3 in the pre Kobe days. Let's see what we got here. This card was so sharp, too. Eight. Uh, it's not bad. I wasn't expecting no gems out of this order. Uh, I paid $5 for this 1976 Bradshaw, also from the same guy, and I think I paid $5 for this one too. See what we get. Six. Uh, I thought it was sharper than that. Okay, we got a slightly off-centered 1978 Nolan Ryan. Let's see what we got. Okay, now for these big boys here, this one I'm saving for last, but I just want to get it out for now. So how I didn't get upcharged for these four cards, I don't know. Maybe they wasn't that big of a grade, but let's see what we got. If one got a story behind it. When I was a teenager, I used to collect comics instead of cards. So I went to a comic shop that sold cards. And I saw many of stuff pass through there. So I moved away from Brooklyn. I went back and I rummaged through what they had left. And they was obviously like cleaned out like totally. But I looked in the case that they had, and they had a few graded cards, but this one was ungraded. So I bought the 1972 Bob Love in a PSA 7, and then with this and a Captain America Falcon comic from 2020, it was a number one issue. Altogether, it cost me 30 bucks. So with this, I don't know if you can see it by the light. There's a small, that's the only thing I saw wrong with it. So hopefully it will get more than what the, uh, this might get a four or five. Yep. Still a good card. Like how I didn't get up charged for this, I don't know. Cause I could still sell this for two, three hundred. This is not bad at all. Way better than what I expected. Now we got some iconic basketball here. First we got Larry Bird scoring leader rookie year. I bought this uh, from the same guy on 43rd Street I bought like the other street cards from. And I think I paid eight bucks for this. So anything over a six. And I'm in the money. Six. Okay. Now the icon. Whew. I finally got my hands on this card recently. Uh, as you can see, there's some black ink spots around it. It's off-centered. But still, it's one of the most iconic rookie cards around. And how I didn't get upcharged for this or what's in the back, I don't know. Let's see what our grade is. Five. You know, I was expecting a four or a three on this. And let me look up comps for this one on eBay. See, that's the package that just came. So I gotta go to my eBay. 
page. And we're going to look up Bird Magic 1980. Oh, I hate these big fingers. EX5. Whoa. Look at them damn prices. How did they not upcharge me on this? Holy wow. Let's go to some sales. We hit filter. We scroll down. Show more. And then we go to sold items. Which will also get us a completed item. 16 of them were sold. And we got it. A75, better off for taking. 945, better off for taking. Same with this one. This one sold for 789, 725, 960, 642. How did PSA not charge upcharge me for this? How? And then the big one. This was a Pete Maravich rookie, which I also got from this store in Denver which is Bill's Sports Cards on Broadway near uh, <clears throat> Iliff. Great bunch of dudes. He assured me that nobody would buy this card because it costs you so much. And I already seen the gray, which is a VG EX4. As you can see, they're oversized compared to regular cards. And these are like the only unlicensed cards I'll ever put in my collection. So let's see what that goes for. Huh. I think this will go. And that's not a bad card to have as a four. So let's see, 236, 350. This is around what I paid for it, 500. But, hmm, not a bad card to have, though. Should be worth more. I mean, look at goods, 241, one bid. Uh, two, 250. 5.5, 5, 490. A three two sixty. Hell yeah, uh, I know I could get more money for that card. What? Yeah, these are two iconic cards I definitely wanted in my collection. Now all I need is the Julius Irvin rookie and a 1969 Oscar Robinson, and I'll be like complete on basketball well thanks for watching i have another one coming uh i sent it off four days after this but somehow it's still in the grading stage so it might be a while but these are some iconic cards here and all of these came back way better than i thought way better I was looking at a four on this, maybe a three on this. The four, I was expecting a little bit more because this card is very, very, oh, oh. Whoa, my corner wasn't like this when I sent it. Holy shit. Um, I'm going to have to complain to PSA. It's a good thing I just lifted this up and saw what the hell they did to my car. They ruined a fucking iconic card. And they are definitely going to hear from me about this. So not to take this out on you guys, I'm going to get the hell up out of here and get on the phone with PSA about this because that is totally fucking unacceptable. Now I need to go smoke and cool off, and I guess I will uh, talk to you soon. Peace.